Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Oh boy, today we're talking about one of the most well-known birds of North America. And notice I didn't say the most loved birds of North America. And that's the, the, why I'm doing this program today, because we get a lot of customers in who absolutely love blue jays and we have people who absolutely despise blue jays and so uh the the title of the program today is blue jays friends or foe and and that is um the way that most people view these birds and and i'm trying to go try to give you some facts and try to help you figure out what they are who they are and and why we should not despise them um blue jays are pretty birds. They're large, they're very visible, they're very noisy, uh, they're, so, they're, so we can see them easily and, we, and they're highly recognizable to people of all ages. Um, and why, it, what's the main reason that people don't like them? Well, it has to do more with their, their one part of their life and that is that they are members of the crow family. We know the American crows, the big, big blackbirds, and as members of that family, one of their hunting techniques, one of their feeding techniques, while they're not technically, you know, birds of prey, they are predators. And their main uh, source of food, uh, famously, is raiding other birds' nests and stealing eggs and even stealing nestlings to eat them and feed them to their babies. And that's not liked by a lot of people. I mean, that is a, kind of a gruesome way of, of making a living, but it is, believe me, it's a valuable part of nature. It has to happen, and the blue jay has to feed its babies just like that robin or whatever species of bird has to feed their babies. So, you know, if you were an earthworm, you wouldn't like a robin very much, and if you were a um, a small caddisfly, you wouldn't like a chickadee very much because they catch you and rip your wings off and swallow you. So, uh, but people love chickadees and they love robins, but. Um, because of the Blue Jays' habits and, uh, and that, that, that earns them a pretty bad reputation. But what are the good sides of Blue Jays? Why, are, why should we like them? I tell people all the time, they're one of my favorite birds. There's many things that make Blue Jays very beneficial to people. Well, one, they're pretty. You know, we like their, their seeing their color. So that alone is kind of a standalone thing. Um, they are smart. Uh, they are, are incredible at finding things um, over again and over again. Um, they are famous for burying acorns uh, whenever there's a good acorn crop and being able to relocate and find and feed on these acorns later. But the other part of that is that they're the Johnny Oak seeds of the, of the natural, natural world. You know, squirrels bury acorns a lot, but also blue jays. And so they don't find them all, and they are, so they're important planters of the oak forest. And they always have been. So that's an important part they play in nature. Um, they have very strong family bonds. Um, the blue jays, uh, they, they, you always, you never see a blue jay just one. Or usually you don't see just one blue jay. You see groups of four or five or six blue jays traveling together. And one of their, 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 their family, have strong family bonds and that the young from that, uh, that hatched this year don't disperse and leave like in most species of birds. They hang around with the parents until the next nesting season and will help feed sometimes the, the young of the new nest. And, and, and that's, a, you know, that's a very strong family bond. That's a good thing. And because these birds travel in these family groups during the year, they are, they've of course learned, earned the reputation of being the burglar alarms of the forest. And that is if you or are a predator enters an area uh, in which there are blue jays around, you're going to know it. And all the other animals are going to know that there's a potential predator in the area by their famous J, J, J call. And so they know, they, amount, they announce the presence of an unwanted visitor in their area. So, um, and why is that important to you? Well, I mean, it keeps all animals safe. But in your backyard, that's important because of Cooper's hawks and sharp shin hawks which are two of the biggest predators at bird feeders that come in and steal your birds and, and eat them. Well, blue jays don't tolerate them. Whenever blue jays see these birds, they gang up on them in their groups and start to raise the, the manner of alert, and they also chase them away, which is good because most of you don't like for a hawk to come through and grab one of your cardinals or one of your chickadees or one of your favorite birds. So blue jays are 
an important part of your backyard and in, in, in that way. So how do you attract them? That's when I, when I tell this to people, I'll be, well, then how do I get more Blue Jays in my backyard? Because I've had a Cooper's Hawk around my nest. Well, the number one way is to feed them peanuts. Hold on, I think I got a picture here. Yeah, here's a good picture of a, an adult Blue Jay on a peanut ring. And they, they feed on the, now they'll eat out of the shell peanuts or just laying in your tray, but their favorite are the in shell peanuts. And they, they'll take those off. And uh, it's funny, if you lay a handful in your tray every morning or in a ring like this, the times they'll eat a couple and or a few, and then they'll start burying them, like they do their acorns to find them later. And they, so they're they're so smart at storing food. So I only I limit my peanuts to just a couple of handfuls a day for them because I know they're going to bury a bunch of them. So, um, but it's a great way to attract them to your yard. And you know, they're so smart that if you put out peanut a handful of peanuts at eight o'clock in the morning. They'll start gathering around your house at about 10 till 8, 5 till 8, waiting for you to come out there. So if you, you know, get another handful at 3 in the afternoon, they, they'll get on schedule with you, and they will come and start feeding them. They'll let the alarm go out that, you know, or the food call that there's peanuts, and, the, and their group will come around, and they'll, they'll eat all your peanuts, which is pretty fun. So, but that helps you out. Remember, they're, the, the trade-off is that they're running off the hawks that are, are trying to visit your yard. So um, that, that's a, a good reason to love the birds. So... They're, you know, we, yes, I know they have a part of their lifestyle that isn't that appealing, but they also have many good qualities. So friend or foe, I think they're friends. I hope you think they're friends. So uh, good suggestion for a program. Uh, send in uh, more, if you would, to the internet. Call it here. Send me an email. Call the store. Come by when you're in talking to me. Give me an idea for a program, and we'll try to get that in there. Uh, if you like them, please give them a like, share them. That really helps us out. Hey, and something else that somebody suggested this week, they said, you know, the way you really help a small business is by giving us a good review, like on the Google or, or on Facebook. People read those. So if you have time, you got a second, you can give us a good review somewhere. We really, really appreciate that. It helps out us small businesses. So until then, come by and let's talk birds. Two, one. Would you like to learn more about wild birds? You might want to hit that subscribe button.